Hello, my name is Lifex343, and today I'm going to be playing more 60 parsecs. We're leaving, uh, we're coming from where we left off last, last time, we just made the decision, and now we're going to feed these two goofballs, so that way we may continue our journey through space. So we're gonna get our medkit back, day 20 now. That was a close one, Captain. It's good to get a good thing you had the proper gear to get out there and manually close our fil air filters. Even with your mask, braving the toxic winds wasn't something you'd like to do ever again. Shuttle will get a bit stuffy before I have the chance to filter any fresh air, but beats tough getting to death. Once the wind sets over us, we'll reopen the filters and things will return back to normal. Surprise this Captain. Okay, we're hungry. Got it, so eat. Um, we're almost done with that med kit. Anyway, Captain, I. I protest. Your self-appointed appointment as the captain of this vessel does not grant you the right to enter your crew's heads. This also includes accidental flying soup can related injuries. You have anything to treat the wound with, I strongly suggest you use it. Who got injured? Oh. Apparently you got murdered by... nearly got murdered by a soup can. What the fuck? Uh, we'll use duct tape to fix her injuries. Because apparently that works. I mean... Doesn't make, doesn't make, not make too much sense, honestly. And she's patched up. There are approximately 130, 1,337 possible applications for duct tape. Tending to wounds, of course, is one of them. Even if it is only a makeshift dressing. It reassures you that you can still count on this friendship. They're all friends. First aid kick. We're not hungry anymore. All right, let's grab some more soup. <coughs> and anything else? Can we upgrade anything? Oh, we can upgrade stuff. What if we upgrade the gun? That... Can we, up we can upgrade the communicator. Hmm. Let's upgrade the gun, because we're going to use that against stuff that's bad. Uh, there's a huge con- Oh, we can't do that. Hold on. This huge construct is some kind of approach to subtle. It's neither animal nor robot. It's made of moving crystal lattice or like a giant walking crystal source. Ah, there's one hell of a hit. The crystal source slammed into the shuttle and it's currently scraping the hole without open with its claws. What? I don't know. Still trying to extract our minerals, Captain. How will you stop this? The gun! We can't use it. We can't upgrade it right now. We will upgrade our armor, though. And we'll send somebody out. Let's see. Alright, we haven't explored other areas yet. So. Send someone to the cave. I think Tom could do it. You will be sent with. You'll be sent with the precious artifact and a lighter to get through. I think that's smart, because if he has the artifact and he comes across something that might get opened by the artifact, then he can open that thing and go in there. Or whatever. And he has a lighter, so he has light, clearly. So, that works. Nobody's hungry, right? No. Alright, we will sh we will continue now. Okay, end day. Tinkerer. Achievement unlocked. Scramble transmission. Ah, oh, man, our fucking... I already warning shot the crystal source feed. It's a gazing hit, but it worked. The crystal source warned and galloped away. The shot blew off enough stuff from the crystal source foot for us to harvest our resources. Yay. John set out, splunking, keep your first cross, I'll see a light day. Remain quiet. Alert. Friend, friend, friend. Reinforced armor. Nice. We just put some panels on it. That's cool. Uh, repair the gun. What do we got? Goodness, Captain, we got an incoming transmission. Play now. Oh no, the communication scrambled. The signal is not strong enough. Maybe someone could get on top of the ship and try to adjust the receiving dish. John, it doesn't tell the cost of agility. Let's have April do it. She is a pretty adjustable person. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's end the day. Go on. 
Oh, my news, Captain. Not only is able to make our receptor better by adjusting the satellite dish on top of the ship yesterday, she also hurt herself. She fell on the off the roof and landed right on some rocks. You don't have the luxury of giving up the wish to leave this planet, though. You need to come up with another way to allow us to receive communications without disruptions. Lars, our Davis might be counted. Tom is exploring his surroundings. Sure as you, blah, blah, blah. Got her. He's complaining about an empty stomach. Okay, they're hungry. I'm not hungry, right? Okay, they're hungry. So. Uh, you two will get food, and you will use a med kit. Uh, hold on. Make some more soup. Walls are closing in. You're growing paranoid. You're having constant invasive thoughts of going outside, even though they pro you probably die. So I have to tell you, Captain. You have cabin, I mean shell fever. The good news is it's normal. Classifiability is a no situation. The bad news is they only cure it's fine way to understand So what do you do? Give me the sock puppet. Socky will teach me the way. Alright, day 24. That worked. Use the socks to treat your shuttle fever. The socks results were amazing. Not only did the sock have googly eyes, which are always hilarious, you even did funny voices. Well, you did them. But as soon as the sock slipped on your hand, the only limit was your imagination. Mentions of the socks spanned far and wide, from one corner of the shuttle to the other, back in the end. You scoured every floor panel from maps of the secret castle and banished dragons from every dark corner. You didn't find anything new or useful, but the experience was still magical. Um, I'm gonna secure some rations for yourself, blah blah blah. Okay, nobody else needs rations but me. Um, sock puppet got broken. Destroyed, actually. So, well, now we need a medkit and we need soup, so we're gonna go with soup. So, we have one soup for me. Let's see. Captain, I found a planet interesting on the surface. I found something interesting on the surface of the planet. It looks like somebody passed their time by playing a supervised version of tic tac toe. I never completed this particular game. This is a, the end pieces consist of minerals that we can use. Now, I'm not one for ruining someone else's fun. I think the winner is clear by looking at the board, so they shouldn't mind if we mess up their oats and exits. Should we take the liberty of gathering these pieces using them as resources? Yes. Why wouldn't we? We already know the clear winner. We get fucked up some out there like, hey, you stole our game. Dismantling this super sized tic tac toe game in progress with success. Whoever been in is nowhere to be seen, and you're charmed with quite a hefty load of materials. You're going to carry a ship, or there's only a performance suddenly. That'll teach them to leave their toys lying on the floor where our plants are. Case. Sure, nobody will mind. Answer yeah, missions for now. Okay. All it takes. Uh, we have 14 science, so we're running low on science stuff. Um, oh, fuck. Okay, well, we'll make more soup, because we need soup. Maybe he looks a bit upset, Captain. He says when he f feels sad, he does exercise, but that's not using the shovel when he was in prison, gym, or occasionally attending. When he was in the prison gym or occasionally attending football practice, exercise was always an escape for him. He says one of the few things his parents would let him do was. This is the gym. So then he looks at you sharply, begins hopping up and down. He asks you, asks if he can press you like a barbell. Probably one of the strangest cuts you've seen on the strip, sir. Yes, you may. You may use me as a barbell. Don't hurt me. You didn't hurt me, good boy. You're gonna let baby use it. Make sure gym equipment, perfect size, perfect weight. He wheeled as, wheezed as he raised and lowered repeatedly. Baby used you for a tough workout. He put you down carefully. UK camp. You were shaking like a leaf. He yanked a sock out from his suit's inner lining. Left an extra in my dorm on the station. He said, and made a puppet with it. Passed over the puppet, smiling. Oh, I got a sock puppet from that situation. <laughs> now he's back from his deep, deep experience. He appears frail in need of a meal and is disturbed. But the important thing is, he's in one piece. He listened, enraptured as he begins to recall his subterranean journey. Darkness was thick, but Tommy a lighter got dropped, reducing its usefulness. Found an untouched mineral vein. And an exploration report. Oh, and Tom found some old paintings depicting ancient aliens coming from this planet that require soup. Was the world some kind of classic soup hub? Was this world? Okay. So I'm trying to figure out how or why tomato soup is available the universe wide. Anyway, Tom Kate wants that some more. We got some more. Um, people are hungry. All three of them are hungry. He's tired, so. Um, bam, bam, bam. 
found a couple of rust and swollen cans of soup in the darkest corner of the ship. Someone must have put them in a long time ago, and they completely forgot about them. Doesn't look all that safe to eat, but then again, it's canned soup. It's supposed to last for 300, 737 years. Will you keep the cans? Yes. I don't care if we get sick. We have a med kit. We don't have a med kit. It's okay. We will have. We don't have anything. Okay, that's fine. Anything here? Give us science. Okay. The ladder is already damaged as is, and we probably won't need it again because we're not going back to the cave, so I will sacrifice the lighter. Uh, is anybody sick? Okay, the ancient super found gave you the pause, and no wonder it looks older than the ship, and here it is. Who can left it here? Then again, who cares? Free soup! Could go wrong. Yes, we're a friend, everybody's my friend. I'm hungry, everyone else is not hungry. Okay. What do we craft? Red kit, please. Oh, we can craft a lighter with material? That's so good. We can just pump and pump and dump. Anyway, seems to become captivated by the alien views outside the shuttle window, but you notice one of your crewmates daydreams more often than others. April simply can't stop staring at the stars. She's at it again today. Feel like talking to her about this? Sure. Um, and then we'll end the day. Yep, everything's good. Alrighty. Yes, Abra Blonder. Stargazing sessions. She clearly took her by surprise because she almost, she looked almost ashamed. I've always enjoyed watching the stars, even though my papa said it was a waste of time and brothers left to me. She tries to explain, eyeing you with distrust is bracing for a negative comment. She then invited you to look at the stars, but there we spent quite a while trying to guess which one, which one was which, naming and naming the ones that clearly had never been observed by human eyes before. It was nice. Oh, uh, are we gonna start dating her or something? Uh, everybody seems to be my friend. I look healthy. I'm still working on a med kit. April approached you today, invited you to tinker together. She didn't even, she didn't make it sound like a big deal, but one has to remember she never invites any more of her side projects with her. It's one more thing, Captain. I'm detecting abnormality. I'm blushing furiously. Seriously, it looks like a lobster. It could be some kind of space here, so take extra care. You're gonna have a beautiful relationship, and you can hold your tools away. What do you say, Captain? Sure, we shall get more than a friend. This isn't like, this isn't like the other game. Oh, we made love, or we not made love, we have a love. Did not hesitate for a minute and joined April. Did you tinkered and laughed once or twice your hands met to both trees for the same tool. It was very constructive. The minute of the first shared project, but it will not be the last. Share your feelings for you, love is in the air. Okay, so now we are soulmates. Oh, that's cool. Pretty sure you can do that with any person too. That makes that interesting. Wait, why do we have... Uh... Vigorous, okay. Alright, all those bleeps and bloops for some from the navigation computer are annoying to some. One person is enjoying my digital tunes. It's April. She's tapping her foot to the rhythm. Minute, Captain, you're into it too. My medical database confirms dancing dances widely accepted as a form of exercise and helps combat muscle atrophy on long space journeys. Come on, exercise and severe on good. Dance a little. The radar beeping is not to your liking, Captain. I can play something else for your viewers. For your special dance. Tell me what mood you're in and I will find something appropriate. Now dance, dance I said. Yeah, let's use that agility. Uh and nobody's hungry, right? Okay. Let's set up okay. Now that's good. And we'll send out somebody for this. So this is hazardous. Uh we'll send out Baby Bronco would be a poor choice. We'll send Baby Bronco to Canyon. That seems more likely he'll be able to do well there. Hazards are the grass, so he'll bring the shovel with him. Wherever the shovel is, there we go. You need anything else, buddy? Nope, okay. He'll go out with the shovel for that then. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking Minecraft villager. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Good luck, Bronco. Bronco. Bleh. 
Uh, swearing your time, get into the group. Miz is afraid this shuttle would not withstand your energy at dance moves, but it survived. Somehow, so did you and April, and she was clearly aesthetic. Ecstatic. I always loved dancing, but couldn't often go. Papa didn't approve. She told you when she was able to catch her breath. Your hair was clearly spinning, your muscles were sore, and you couldn't find proper footing at this crazy dance, but it felt like next day it would be all be okay, but even better. All the energy flowing through her body. We went off canyoning, keep an eye out for his return, so was her friend, blah blah. Hungry, hungry. Okay, I'm not hungry, so that's fine. Bam, bam. So then we're gonna have not that much soup left. We can upgrade something. I need to get more soup, though. Morning, Captain. I remember how we received that transmission, but the signal was strong enough for us to hear the other side clearly. I think it's just find a way to make reception better. I just need to replace the battery in the communication box. Or it doesn't seem like you have one to spare, so just you try to find one screen port. So you need to a little stronger. Okay. Do we find a battery? Yesterday you had an opportunity to boost our reception by this abundant, but you didn't have one to spare. So we'll get another chance for pizza battery soon. Just make sure not to waste it then. Uh I am hungry. Okay. How do we make a battery? It's probably like a with a whole bunch of science or something. Let's craft a rot a rot la 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 a lighter. Damage from the crash is worse than estimated. Captains for several critical systems were damaged. You can live without that trash compactor, but you need air. What do you use to make the repairs? An artifact. Because that's really smart for some reason. Yeah, let's use the artifact or something. I don't know. Probably won't work, but we have the artifact for a reason. We need to use it. This artifact to repeatedly smack the shuttle's wounded life support system back into shape. Your straightforward approach did solve the problem in your third swing, but the artifact was badly damaged. Why did that work? I'm no longer hungry. That's good. Now we, we shall recycle the lighter for some more stuff, because that's how it works for some reason. So our Sunday is affected Backy, my backup AI module. Besides interference from somewhere on this planet, frankly, Backy needs a reboot. He's overloading fan systems. Someone, someone agile should leap up and... Hi, folks. It's too warm in this tin can, and Backy's here to fix it. I'll become your biggest fan. <laughs> Uh, are we... We're limber. We're acrobatic right now, so we'll do it. And we are all sorts of stats. Okay, we already got that going. Um... Okay, and he still hasn't come back yet. Alright, let's do this. See what happens. Day 33. Functioning back, you took control. You managed to save the day. A crewmate gave you a boost while you shoved some armor into their fan system rapidly rolling. Rotor blades. Just keep a tight leash on him. He's more of a superficial art intelligence, but don't say that to his face. He also has a frail ego. Ale. I don't know. I'm still alert, complete, complete on the stomach, but I can eat something. Okay. Only have one soup, I'll give it to my soulmate. If they don't have any more, you can wait a little longer, Tom. Alright, let's see. Detecting a huge surge beneath the surface, seismic waves, I think there's an earthquake coming. The shuttle is sturdy, but this ground isn't. Soil has a high potential to liquefy when the earthquake hits. Better patch of rocky ground. A few doors ahead. You can use the shuttle's thrusters to scoot onto it, but if you overshoot, you'll be even worse ground than you are now. Will you attempt to maneuver? Yes. We can do it. Shuttle's so, thrusters to scoot onto a better patch of ground. Come here, rest in it. Like he's rocky so I'm going to earth. If you were not in a circus, the shuttle buckled to and fro like a bat as a straight entry, but the shaking stopped. You opened your eyes and 
Strange as silence fall. Then you laughed. Maybe this is nice to complete his mission to find the mysterious signal. He looks like he's been hit by falling rocks. He needs food and keeps muttering about the echo. What matters is that he's alive. You grab a seat and begin freely calling his account of aliens. The contest gave maybe more than just a figure to headache. Found minerals in the canyon. The surrounding walls bore shovel and pickaxe marks. Found his cache of unused batteries in the canyon. Siphoned their power. Covered a lighter during the exposition. Working battery. Transport these outer solar systems. So okay. So. He's hungry, tired. Me and Tom are also hungry. Oh, yeah. Tom didn't eat last time. So. Tom, me, and Bronco. And we're gonna send someone out to the swamp. This time it's gonna be April, 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 April. We're gonna send her. Uh, she's got radioactivity to deal with, so she's gonna get the gas mask. I think armor would be appropriate. Okay. Alright. And we need to craft some more soup. Let's see. <clears throat> Alien Vesta is approaching. Their ship is rigged with a light show. Sings to, their, to the music they start blasting as soon as we open comms. Captain, they're playing rockability. Your crew is already grooving to the beat. The music is going to be of the Dance Lord tribe and searching the channels for the best dancers in the galaxy. They challenge our tribe to a dance off, specifically Sock Hop. If you don't accept the robotic rise with their ultra high frequency speakers, how will you defeat the Dance Lords? Acro. Well, clearly we survived. Set to the dance force challenge, they all beam the, the crew to their ship, and you all lit up on the dance floor as soon as you stepped on board, after taking off your shoes. You sock hop straight to the leader or bop, but he was no match for your wicked footwork and synchronized skill weapon. I acknowledge your skills and let you go with this blessing. Even refilled our supply of chemicals, the sock hop ended with everyone slipping, sipping non-alcoholic fruit punch from a big glass bowl. Captain, I think you've been practicing your moves in the mirror. So she went. Uh, nobody's hungry. Need to make more soup. What do we got? According to Tom, one of his claims to fame from his days as a first responder in Lost Kid Rescue was jury rigging a cutting edge new kind of first aid kit that saved many lives. Tom has put together a presentation about his awesome and 100% original invention. This is more like cheap marketing than actual medical science, Captain. Is Tom's presentation? Sure. We'll listen to it and we'll get bedazzled, because it is the best thing ever, probably. Give us the spew, Tom. Presentation, there were a lot of big claims about changing the game and power of belief, but very little in the way of medical science. In the end, the particular four hour cinema did not yield any tangible benefits, medically or otherwise, although Tom did spend a long time talking about how he used these exact medical techniques to treat stray kittens. He quickly spoke about the animal anatomy, of as if he was actually telling the truth. Oh, what am I saying? This is Tom. Of course he was lying. Here's his friend, exposition. So, did that improve his intelligence? Or our intelligence or something? Interesting. It's busy. Can we upgrade anything? We can upgrade the crafting module itself. That sounds like a good idea, actually. We don't have an infinite supply of soup. We do have some old science equipment tucked away on various parts of the shell in case of emergency return. We're going to lose a can of soup. You could find a way to improve the formula. The list of labels is ingredients as tomato salt, water and salt. We can anything and potentially create the most delicious soup in the galaxy to find the possibilities, Captain. Go ahead. Let's see what happens. We can afford a soup. Sadly, you're not in order to prove the soup recipe and it's a different way to do this. Is there anything else edible on board? I guess you could have added more soup to that soup. Or is a surprisingly large batch of chemicals from that single can, though. Some of them toxic. Interesting, considering they're in the ingredient list. You're in quite alert. Alert, alert, alert. Tom would like something to eat. Okay, you two are hungry. I'm not hungry. Alright. We shall feed them. Baby Bronco and Tom. Anywho. Wind, which was blowing ceaselessly for the past few hours, has uncovered a part of a sculpture near the ship. A cow's muzzle open as if 
In expectation, a sacrificial spot, perhaps. Wonder if there's anything in hand to offer this card. Does this or is this a course considered to inspire this experiment? We'll, we'll offer it a lighter. Alright, let's check in the recording. We're nearly done with this episode, by the way. One more day into the crafting, and then we'll see what happens with the crafting, we'll call it. Space engineer. So we upgraded our crafting. Yep. Uncovered a cow snout, statue expected to sacrifice, and you have chosen a lighter. The moment you place it on the carving stand of tongue, the muzzle snaps shut. It's opened again to learn I have this proven to be too tough, and thus and just muzzle the statue. You left it with nothing but disappointment. Oh. What was the other option? I didn't realize we were feeding it to the cow. Well, we were feeding the. There was the other option duct tape? I don't know. Anyway, I already complete. Hungry. Okay, I'm hungry, so I'll feed me. Now it's upgraded. So does it craft faster or what? Can we do? I think it crafts faster or something. We'll repair the lighter. All right. Detecting an ancient structure very nearby, totally camouflaged by the surrounding landscape. It resembles a yawning face. It's a temple. Secret one. To be treasure inside, we'll try to take this floor to temple. Intelligence, clearly. That's all we got, man. Okay. Well, I think we should call it mm, one more. One more day. Then we'll call it. So we'll see what happened with the uh, temple, because that's interesting. Any of the car members reached the final room, there's only an empty pedestal. The temple shook, and the booming voice said, Oh, another player already claimed the treasure. Oh. Oh, but you were the fastest team in the history of our show. Thank you for playing. It's a secret temple, the voice said. The survivor mission through the morass. She appears a big sickly in need of food and upset it, but in paramount important. It's the, she is not an alien dump, we think. You listen patiently just because the recounter revealed. In the mock, triple over weird idol that released a deadly cloud of poison. Thanks to the mass, she wasn't harmed. The gas grow the mass filter, so. Swamp was chemically rich and it'll hurt many useful components. We got some food. And that was really it. Uh, there's rations for now. Who signals that I'll be passed around? Is it a, a crash in the industry? Maybe we're gonna. The aliens are talking about. So, she's the only one hungry, right? She's just tired. I'm gonna feed her anyway. She just came back from expedition. Um, let's see. Let's prepare the gas mask. April has been secretly scrimming something in her small notebook. I have to ask her about it, but she beat you to the punch. Emmett, she said, very I would like to draw you. Would you be my model? How about that? After the end of the scene, your passion for art, will you agree to pose for her for a masterpiece? Yes. I will be a stick figure, the beautifulest one. Okay, it turns out the desert was the best place for us, and we have to bring a weapon in order to deal with it, so. We're gonna send Baby Bronco again. He's gonna get a gun, and he's gonna go out. So. So. do that and <clears throat> I think that will be the end of our day we will not look at the next things we will close the log immediately and we'll look at it next episode so bam all right I'm gonna leave this episode here of 60 parsecs if you guys liked it leave a like and subscribe and I hope you have a good day peace